Go ahead, put it on real tight. I hope you brought your best tonight. They say they got the fireworks, yeah, they say they got the show. Here around the shoots, you're the best, so let's go. This is Texas Toast. I'm your host, Miss Helen. Kick back and enjoy as we toast the best from Texas. Welcome to Texas on Tap with Miss Helen, along with producer Kyle. And you're looking good. You're like got some like warm kind of clothes on. Yeah, it's like 65. We're we're in Denver. We've got some shows this weekend. It's not not quite cold enough for a hoodie, but I figured I'd pretend like it was. You know. Well, it's good to see you. I also oh. forgot my fancy little headset in Texas, so I'm using a. a oh, well, that's what's different. And yeah. I have my. I have my in ears and because that's the only headphones i have <laughs> okay so i'm sitting here working on stuff so we got some good music to talk mm-hmm. about definitely you want to get it started you want me to go um i'll go ahead okay, i think cool. i'm kind of ready my ears are burning i was just downstairs i was telling you we got some sure. friends down there and they're just like it's like who can out tell what fishing story and i just sit and listen at that point because it's like way y'all okay so i gotta i gotta get in the zone here yeah, you're no, the let's, humble one. Yeah, let's, okay. I know, I just, I just shut up, don't say anything. <laughs> All right, so I want to start off with um, a talented, talented girl we had on the podcast, Peyton Howie, mm-hmm. one of our favorites. She's released to Texas Radio, Never Go Home. And I think we had kind of, she had kind of hinted at that whenever she was on the podcast, but it is an in-your-face song, The Party Don't Stop. And I love the parts in there where it's just it's just like the fun drinking games are thrown in and, and some of the verbiage in there. But it's just like it's just it's just in your face. Oh, yeah. And of course, Peyton's voice and her talent and knowing her personality after we had the visit with her. I just I really like that one. So check out Peyton Howie going Quirky out to radio. Yes. Going out to radio. Never go home. Love you, Peyton. Have and you then, seen that? Sorry. Have you seen the music video for that one? That's all I can think about whenever I hear that song. No, uh, no. Oh, it's so much fun. I think they filmed it on Lake Conroe, but it's just like a big old. Party oh yeah, yeah, Lake. yeah. That's right. I did. I did. Yeah. Yes. Solid video. You know, I'm getting. I got, I'm too confused right now. <laughs> and then one of my all-time favorites, Daryl Dodd has just put a new one out to radio. It's called Half to Death. And it just starts out at first, the great music. And what I like about this is in the song, you know, it's it's about love and, you know, I'm going to love you half to death. But it's just this, it makes you think of the simple things in life. And it starts out so upbeat. And it's just, it's a great sing-along song. And it's just a happy, 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 good feeling song. But, and it's, and it's just like, it's just the way it sounds, it's so traditional. And it's just Daryl Dodd. And I've always loved Daryl Dodd. Now we're going to open the tap room. I am super excited about this song. When it came across the other day, and I knew it was on the way, I knew it was coming. And he is like my buddy. You know, we got the fishing thing in common. I call him Captain Clay, but seriously, this is um, brand new from Clay Hollis. It's going out to radio. Can't get back. Okay, there it is. Do I really need to say anything? Brand new from Clay. Clay Hollis. Yeah, I remember when he was talking about all the new fishing stuff he's got on the new record. So this is not one of those. So that keeps, it's like he's got us on a hook right now waiting for those other tunes we talked about. (laughs) Yeah, of course he did kind of like share one with us. Yeah, he played one for sure. But I'm so proud of him. I got goosebumps the first time I listened to it. Like literally I was just like standing up and Clay, I'm so proud of you. It's like he did, that's that's a phenomenal song. Yeah, production's Phenomenal. great, vocals yes. are great. It's, it kind of goes to show, like, if you follow the formula, you know, just, like, as far as pop music goes, obviously it's country, but he's, like, he's hitting that thing, and it's a great example of, like, the perfect radio release song, so I'm really excited yeah. to see how that one does. You know, and that's that's one of the things, like, I was talking to somebody that, you know, in in the broadcast a radio fellow radio person this morning and I was like what are you doing I'm like I'm man I'm listening to all this great music and like just an example is this particular Texas on tap and you're fixing to go into your songs and just the variety and the different kind of sounds it's so exciting so I'm gonna let you take it now 
Okay, cool. So like always, I'll keep the tap room open. This is uh, a band that we've talked about quite a bit and I spend a lot of time listening to. Uh, and let's just play it real quick. The band Laredo has got a new song that dropped today called Gasoline. All right, Gasoline from the band Laredo. They've got a new EP coming out. So excited for those guys. They've got all kinds of cool stuff coming up. Uh, they had uh, a feature on that song from the Bandoliers who were killing it as well. So it's just an awesome song. It's kind of like a teenage angst, you know, uh, it's just a great song. I'm really, really excited yes. to hear everything Yes, it is. And that was the one that I was listening to when my friend called and I said, hold up, hold up. Just listen to a little bit of this. That's when I was previewing that. I love it. It's a driving song. I love yeah, it. Yeah, his voice is just so unique. It, like, it'll stand out in the crowd. You could be walking around outside somewhere where there's music in the background. And if he's singing, you know, it's the band Laredo. So. Mm -hmm. That's that's a great song from those guys. Um, and then let's see, which one do I want to do next? I'll do, uh, I've got a twofer on that, or not a twofer, but we talked about these guys last week and I just can't help myself. I'm, I can't I'm, either. I, I can't either. <laughs> I can't, I can't even with them. It's like, yeah. can you like feature a song every week I, from them? Oh my God, we could. Yeah, they got a lot of music out too. And this new record drops. Uh, so we're talking about Midnight River Choir. They just dropped last Friday, the last single before the album release. And it's called Rough Patch. Um, this song really resonates with me because, you know, I'm, I'm busy in the music scene. I'm on the road all the time. I've been doing it for a long time. And this was, I guess, their take on, you know, what it was like when everything shut down at the beginning of COVID. And they did it just very well. Like, it's, it's super detailed and there's a lot of imagery in the song. And every time I tried to write this song, you know, it just, it was all, it was vague. And I don't know, I'm just, I really enjoy the way they did it. The chorus is awesome. You know what they kind of, that song at parts, it reminded me of back in the old days with Restless Heart. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Wow. Like, I don't know, for some reason, I wanted to compare it to Wheels. Right? Yeah. That's what, I mean, I'm going old school now. So everybody right. listening, you're going to be like, oh, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that, but everything they have is so good. I'm with you. Yeah. Good fine, Kyle. They good. are, they are amazing. Amazing. We were, we were listening to, I guess they've got two records out already. And we were, me and uh, Justin Breeze, bass player, drove up to Colorado by ourselves and we just basically listened to all of their music on repeat. So they've got our attention, which is glad they do because they're so good. And then uh, my last one's actually a new, well, I don't know if he's a new artist, but he's new to me. And uh, he actually submitted, oh, can't talk, sent this song over on Twitter. Um, but it's an, a guy named Aaron Lacombe and he put out a new song called Dream Along With Me. So it looks like he's got an album coming out as well. And uh, this is, it's just like a, lyrically, it's a traditional love song. It's I fell in you know, love with it. I, I'm so, so glad, I'm so glad he sent it over because yeah. that's, it's great. Mm -hmm. For This is a driving song for me. It's like, uh, just kind of feel good. I, I guess it can go both ways. You know, you can be like the sad driving a little angsty or you can, uh, or you can just be like in a blissful, happy place. And that's kind of where this song takes me. Um, I really enjoy his guitar playing on the song and there's some nice lap steel in there too. So. It's kind of just like a pretty smooth, chill vibe, and that's what I needed at the moment. So I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I know you are really, you're just burning it up everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, Let's speaking see. of that perfect segue on mm -hmm. Texas Country Music Chart, debuting this week in the top five, uh, top 100 was Bree with Freeman. Oh, yeah. There you mm -hmm. go. Came in at 45. Curtis was also in that list at 49. Corey Kent, he came from, he had just released it. That's what I was texting you about Corey because right. he debuted in the top 100 at 69. Mm -hmm. And that yeah, song so, was already like the number one country song on yes, in the world. Yes, for, he had, had all those crazy. streams already. Yep. But let's go ahead and look at the top five on the Texas Country Music Chart. At number five is Flatland Cavalry. They went from nine to five. Cowboy knows how. Jake Bush moved from six to four with Tractor mm -hmm. Town. And John Wolf maintained three, a cowgirl like you. Casey Donahue went from one to two. And wow, did you see the text I sent you Sunday uh, night? Oh, yeah. Wilder Blue, Wave Dancer, number Ooh. one this week yeah. on Texas Country Music and Chart. Come party with us at Green Hall on uh, the 5th, I guess, next, what is it, next Saturday? I would but love to. That's next, next Friday. I would so love to. Next Friday, come to Green Hall. And so while we're on a roll, let's talk some more about the Wilder Blue, because Wednesday, CD Extract. Texas chart came out and they're number one on that chart also oh, man, yes and then KC Donahue's at two Josh Abbott bands at three from seven to four Jake Bush and then John Wolf of course was number one last week uh, with a cowgirl like you and that was a chart last week that there was like three spins between um John and Wilder right 
Yes, yes, yep. just went white, yes. Yeah. And then- I'm Good shit, um, I'm glad they got it. Yeah, Texas Regional Radio Report number one this week. Um, you're gonna be so proud of this one too. Do you know already? I don't think so. Matt. Oh, no way. That's so Matt, sick. Matt, yes. Oh, Go man. Matt Castillo. That's like a Our, triumphant climb. Yes. That's so yes, exciting. Because he's a cowboy. So congratulations, yeah, Matt. Yes, Matt. Cheers to you, Matt. We love yeah. you. Mm -hmm. And then number two is Josh Abbott Band from five to three, the Wilder Blue Wave Dancer. And then Jake oh. maintained Jake maintained it four with tractor town and then casey donahue went from seven to five with telling on my heart so i mean it's just so exciting yeah. like matt the Walder blue jake bush moving on up there like that but yeah i was i was i was super excited i mean i knew it was coming for the Walder blue but you know you just never know how the numbers are going to work so right. yay yeah Good now stuff. It's, like a, it's like a race to the end of the year with all this new stuff coming out like the new clay hollis song and Oh my I'm gosh, yes. <laughs> yes, there's a, and I'm seeing where we, a lot of people are coming up. There's some new stuff next week that I'm looking yeah. forward to. Mm -hmm. Man, it's pretty crazy. I honestly lost my train of thought just trying to wrap my head around all the new stuff that I've been getting emailed about. And I, I had some other things that I'm sure will come back to me, but yeah, it's going to be a wild ride for the rest of this year. I know, head just, head just spinning, spinning, <laughs> spinning. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh man, logistically, I was telling you about it, but I, my my brain was mush last night. We stayed in Raton and uh, we drove from New Braunfels. It was like 12 hour drive. Our sprinter was in the shop, couldn't get it out of the shop. So we ended up plan B in it, bringing a truck up here. And it was, it was actually kind of nice. Just two of us and a dog in the truck. And it, it like, it felt like a breeze. The drive was not bad at all. So kind of ended up working out. It's been a little hectic. It's going to be crammed once we get the rest of the band in that truck for the next couple of days, but I'm making it work. So yeah, trucks, vans, and boats. Do you want me to talk about yeah. my disaster last weekend? Yeah, I feel it then. Um, well, you know, but that's okay. Our sister team got second place with our old captain that came out of retirement to fish them because they had boat issues. Mm -hmm. And so we went on out, we went out 65 miles first thing when we busted out of the jetties to go get our mahi and we trolled and trolled and trolled and obviously the mahi weren't, they had been there, the selfish and mahi had been there the last four days. And so then it was time like, hey, this tournament, we got to roll in. We told our captain, we got to roll in. We've already chummed this area, this ain't working. And so then, because he had his marks on autopilot, because he had been pre-fishing for us. And so then when he put it on his regular manual steering, well, we, the autopilot blew a valve. Basically, we were losing steering 50 miles out. So it was time to roll him up. He had some extra steering fluid on the boat. So we rolled in. But this was the first time that our team had never weighed in and like never place that could have been an awesome story though it's like so. instead of a road trip it would have been like a, a water trip just having to troll all the way back in from 50 miles yeah i mean we were still running good we were running about 30 mile an hour but we were trying uh, we were right. trying to is much i mean that's pretty fast offshore right. i mean it's like because we're in a 32 foot boat but yeah. you know and the seas were good we had good yeah. breeze and but me and the girls always have amazing stories from the back of the boat some i can't share but they're hilarious yeah. i mean like yeah. it's hilarious stuff like lifetime yeah. memories are always built yeah. on the water so next year's a different year Mm -hmm. so we'll be okay yeah you'll hit it different you'll get them yes sweet man that's crazy i'm still sitting here thinking about i had all these things that i want to talk about and i'm just like i'm here and <laughs> i know <laughs> I, I did my I part did. <laughs> yeah so it's been a good week and, and we've had some really i want to talk about some of the tourists that come here cool. and um uh, so like they start talking to me and there was like people from kilgore nacogdoches oh. and like so we're talking and and somebody brings up the podcast and Texas music. So I like have my list. I'm like, here's who you listen to. So I love being able to educate people that oh, yeah. are like good country people that come here to the coast and come a long way. Abilene, there was people from Abilene. And so I told them about Case, you know, it's like, oh, you know, wow. Case and Matt and Clay and Wilder Blue and everybody, you know, it's yeah. like, and I'm like, just here's the link. Just get on our, everybody get on our Spotify list, get on the podcast and listen and you will get educated. Yep. Totally. Man, that's cool. I, um, what was I going to say? We had obviously Western Express on last week and that was an awesome interview, super humble guys. And that was a lot of fun. And then we've got, um, 
Carson Palmer coming up this week, and I think that anybody who's a fan of Carson already is going to learn so much stuff about him. It was okay. Palmer. Wait, did Anthony? I just say Carson Palmer? Oh my god! See, I don't even you're... watch football. Jesus, my brain is mush. I can tell you. Hey, <laughs> do you even hey, know who Carson that's, Palmer is? <laughs> that's the first time that I had. Usually, usually it's Miss. I'm gonna Helen, leave this we... in. I'm not gonna cut it. <laughs> no, leave it because usually it's me. Like. <laughs> Carson I, Palmer, like the worst I said, quarterback I of said, all time. Instead of saying David Adam Burns that time, I said David Allen Burns. You know, it's oh, like, yeah. there's just some days like that, Kyle. There's just some oh, days. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Like I said, um, another thing I wanted to mention, obviously, I said the Wilder Blue are playing at uh, Green Hall this coming weekend. I believe it's Friday night, the 5th. So come check that out. Also, um, remember the guy, another confused name that you got. Remember the Jarrett Ray Reddick? <laughs> Oh so, no! Don't so, tell on me, please don't tell. Me. So, so he's <laughs> opening. He's <laughs> opening for Bree at Green Hall. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm turning red. No, it's okay. <laughs> Anyways, he's opening for Bree at Green Hall, so that's gonna be a we'll, lot of fun. We'll sh- we'll share that story when we're in um, Fort Worth in November. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, I'm I would rather it. share um, it in person. <laughs> it's something you have to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just called yeah, one of the yeah, coolest, yeah. hippest songwriters in Texas country, <laughs> Carson Palmer. So it's kind of embarrassing too. Oh, hey, that's just <laughs> hey, that's how we roll. We're just yeah. we're just normal people putting yeah. the, putting it out there. Uh-huh. Finding this as Carson or as Palmer said, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I miss football apparently. What the hell? Um, <laughs> as as Palmer said, we we were looking for the sleepers. I really like that. He he was really excited and i've about always i've always been one of those finders like yeah. that always yeah. you know and yeah. like i said you know even when i would have an artist on for you know promoting a particular radio single it's like okay by the way i was listening to such and such we got to talk about that they'd be right. like seriously because it's about all the music yeah. i mean so much time and effort and heart and soul goes into every track on every album and yes it's great to have your streaming release and your radio release which is very very important radio bookings touring goes hand in hand but it's about all the music yeah. dig in dig in yeah. you hear somebody on the radio or on the podcast that's why i we like to look at other stuff Right. Well, like, like we were talking about with Mimi in Texas, it's like you, you hear that one and that, that should make you want to go dig into the rest. So you find those songs with the, you know, the, the story, the real, not that Mimi in Texas wasn't like a true thing that, that he wrote from his heart, but like you, you can really dig into like this person's mind going and listening to these mm-hmm. sleeper tracks on the record. That's yeah. And like then when you go, thing. and then when you go to the shows, you know, exactly. That's right. what I'm talking about. And I you're mean, singing it's like the songs and everybody yes. else starts singing the songs. Yes. That's, powerful yeah cool well if anybody's in colorado or we have any colorado listeners uh Bree bagwell and the band will be at black buzzard in downtown denver tonight and then we'll be at lulu's outside of colorado springs tomorrow night so mm. come hang tell, out if you're around yeah well tell Bree that i am i'm still in love with her album cover and Josefina Yosef, mm-hmm. is oh, absolutely yeah. beautiful I, wait did i send you the record yet hers not the whole record oh you want to hear it's so good well yeah i'll, I'll have some listening time <laughs> but yeah i listen to yosefina I'll, I'll make you wait <laughs> i listen to yosefina but she's just Bree's just so beautiful i mean yeah. that red dress she has on in that album cover well, and I then mean, the yellow too for josefina it's like yes i saw that yes yeah. yes yes yeah cool well i miss y'all yeah i miss you too hopefully we we'll see you soon before yeah. freaking the award show God, well school's fixing to start yeah. tourism will calm down, down and i'll be bit. able to get away yes yeah well if anything you got to come to the her release show yes at, at green hall yes cool maybe, i'll put you I'll, I'll put maybe, you on the I'll, list. maybe i'll just <laughs> maybe i'll just run away yeah run away you can bring captain ron to go yeah no some well yeah we'll see so <laughs> okay okay cool i might say some more dumb shit if we keep talking all right well y'all have good times this weekend and safe travels and we will okay. it's gonna be fun all right tight, well, tight squeeze we get to hang out with whiskey dog though so that's cool i know do you is that it you i know so you does whiskey ride with you mm-hmm. you you get to take care of whiskey yeah well we brought her up from te- me and justin brought her up from texas because brie was in california all week with her family um but yeah, she's she's normally on the road with us. She's a great road dog. She's real quiet. 
It's like if she's if we're driving, she's in her little bed just sleeping. That's why. I, well, she has a good mama. Yeah. <laughs> she's a little, maybe a little too attached to her mama, but <laughs> she, she's she's got a good mama. Well, she's in good hands with you. Okay. Well, yeah. that's. I guess we'll wrap it up. Cheers. All right. Cheers. She knew heavy tongue. She knew where I was from as she left. I dare to say.